Do you remember the Melbourne grandmother who was fined in 2020 for daring to use her government-sanctioned exercise hour to walk alone with a sign protesting Dan Andrews' harsh COVID lockdown? Well, the Court of Appeal is finally hearing her case next week. But she needs your help just one last time at SayVictoria.com. Kerry Cottrell wasn't even breaking the authoritarian COVID restrictions when she left her home that day for the authorised hour of exercise within five kilometres of her home. But that didn't stop Victoria Police from issuing her with a fine. I'm going for a walk. Yeah. So, clearly, there's nothing to protest. That's what those names tend to be. Daniel Andrews, and you've asked St. Dan Dan. That's okay. I'm allowed to wear this, aren't I? As a result of the activity today, you will be issued a penalty notice for breaching the COVID directions. With your help, we took the matter all the way to the Supreme Court of Victoria. So the proceeding began in the Victorian Supreme Court in 2020, shortly after Kerry was issued an infringement for breaching the stay-at-home directions by leaving home to exercise whilst carrying a protest sign. The central question for the court was whether the directions were ultra-virus, the Public Health and Wellbeing Act. Ultra-virus means beyond power, so essentially that the directions were not permitted by the legislation under which they were purportedly made because of their impact upon political communication, specifically the implied freedom of political communication, which is recognised within our constitutional framework. In August last year, so 2021, a judge of the Supreme Court, after three days of expert evidence and submissions, upheld the directions, meaning we lost. But we never gave up. For over a year now, Kerry's legal team, led by top criminal lawyer Madeline Smith and constitutional specialist barrister Kathleen Foley, They've been preparing for this coming Monday. What I really want to say is thank you to everybody that's, you know, been a part of this. The legal team, Kathleen and um, Madeline have been fantastic all the way. And Jake, I forget the other guy's name, but yeah, thanks anyway. Um, And really big thank you to you guys because I couldn't have done this without you and everybody at home. Thanks so much. An application for leave to appeal and the ultimate grounds of appeal were filed in September 2021 in the Court of Appeal. Submitting that, the primary decision was based on a number of conclusions that were either not supported by the evidence and or wrong at law. The matter should be heard by the Court of Appeal, which comprises three judges because it has a real prospect of success and concerns matters of significant public importance and that the court should set aside the earlier decision and make the declaration sought. So the matter's listed for a one-day hearing in the Court of Appeal on the 21st of November this year. The advice from the beginning has been that Kerry's case has real prospect of success. We've been banking on it. In fact, we can't afford it not to succeed. And it certainly is of significant public importance, ensuring that the government can never use another emergency to trample on the fundamental right of political communication, even in protest. But Kerry needs your help to get the job done. Between council fees, court fees and expert witnesses, her first three-day trial cost over $140,000, which you guys were so generous in helping cover. And now we have the final bill of $90,000 for everything associated with Kerry's final appeal. This is the last chance to save Victoria, even if the tyrant somehow wins the election later this month. Please give what you can at SaveVictoria.com to help us fund Kerry's appeal. Thanks to Rebel. Thanks to Ezra. I hope you're watching Ezra. I know you have been. Um, Thanks to everyone that donated and watched the live stream and I hope that we win for all of Victoria, or for all of Australia actually, for everybody that wants to stand up and protest and just for our rights for political communication. If you're as excited as me about this battle, nervous but excited at the prospect of potentially finally winning, please like, comment and most importantly, share it far and wide. Remind Victorians how Daniel Andrews abused his power this election month. And then please give what you can at SaveVictoria.com to make Kerry's fight back possible, not just for her, but for all of us. SaveVictoria.com. We can't do this without you.